Welcome back to my voice over everybody. This time is my no gi worlds match. So this is what I did to win the no gi world title this year in the master division. So there's a lot of details for you guys. Right in the end of this video, I broke down little by little how I finish the how to pass his guard and how I finish on a, on a north south choke. And I'm gonna show you why it took me so long over one minute. So take a look. We start the match, I knew he wants to pull guard, so I move back, I keep approaching his hands, and I duck right under his hands. So take a look in the slow motion. So I duck under, and then get into a double leg, and fin and finish the takedown. So as you guys can see, I knew his hand was forward, so I went right under his hands, and then he was not able to stop me from there. Right away, the ref stopped the match and moved into the middle. I got my two points, I secured my two points, and then from here is me against the time. So all about management. So take a look. This guy, man, has a very annoying uh, butterfly hook. Very, very annoying. Give me a hard time, so I have to manage. So, so you guys can see a highlight right there. His right foot was always on, on the hook, and it's very annoying, very annoying. And he was holding my, my head, trying to sweep me that way. I try to pass right there, and I like to pressure heavy. Sometimes, uh, uh, most of the time, it works super well. Look, I try jump over, jump over, but he has really annoying and very strong butterfly hook. Very surprised he did a really good job blocking me from there. So you know what? I have to change my plan. I won't be able to pass uh, a tight the way I like it against this game. So he managed it very well. So I kept managing his bottom under his bottom arm, which I know that he won't be able to get under me, even if he elevates me. So I was just there buying my time and, and trying to manage and get a feeling which side he wants to sweep me, right? And right in the end, I'm gonna show you guys a very important tip, okay? So how to pass people's guard. So look. He was managing, his hook was there the whole time and I keep, keep trying to take the foot out and I stood up because I knew, look, he pulled me with that hook. You see it? Very annoying hook. So I knew that he only wanted to pay, play guard to that side. So you know what? So I'm gonna try bait pass to the side that he wants to sweep me and I'm gonna pass to the other side. So take a quick look right here. So I keep holding his hands by time and he knew that he needs that arm, bar arm free, and he need that he need to elevate me. So I kept strong my toes right there. I blocked the leg. So you guys are gonna see the slow motion, and then I bait the time. So look, I blocked the shin, took my leg out, right, holding the bottom arm once again. Now look, I'm gonna fake that I'm gonna pass to his stronger side, and then he reset the hip, and then I timing my pass right there. This is a very strong guard pass, guys, but I set that up. You have to set that up. And then I land very, very tight right there. And as you guys can see it, I tried to get the underhook right there, tried to expose his back. I was in a body lock, trying to avoid his hook the whole time because I know that he's gonna try to play uh, 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 butterfly again. So I get my time, you know, I already score five points. And this is the thing that you guys should be paying attention. Manage your time in your favor. So you manage the, 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 the clock, manage your connections into your torment side. This apply for beginners to advance, right? That's why I like to show these guys to you, this match to you. So I passed the guard, right? And he's trying to chase me with the damn hook, which is very annoying. So I stay tight, look at the clock, buy my time. I had a three minute laugh. Say from here, I cannot do a mistake. I try to roll him to expose to his back, but he keep pushing his back, his back on the mat and trying to fi finish his back. So you know what? Whenever he turns, I'm gonna get into a north-south choke. So I put Neon Bell right there and then force him to turn into me. That was the trick part. So whenever he turned, so this is what I want you guys to pay attention. How long took me to finish the north-south choke? So I enter the north south choke right there and I put around the clock for you guys right here. So he has his he had his left hands in, his four fingers in blocking the choke. 
So you know what? I'm just gonna maintain my choke right here and see how long it takes me. So I have everything settled, everything I had his neck perfect connected. And that's one thing that I learned from my professor Marcel. Don't squeeze if you don't have the choke very, very tight. So I had his neck, I had his choke, but it was not tight, very tight. So I did not squeeze. So I maintained right there. I play with one hand. So pay attention on, on my head uh, head position. Okay, so that's why it took me so long. And then I'm gonna break down right after I finish this choke. I'm gonna break down on the video for you guys in the end. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to pass in a live scenario. I'm gonna ex explain exactly how I pass and why it took me so long to finish this choke. So look, it basically I went one minute and this guy was surviving, survive, and then I finished him by fixing my body line. That was a trick part. So took literally one minute and 13 seconds to finish the choke. Crazy, right? Finish the match. Now we're gonna jump right into the the breakdown in the end right here for you guys. All right, so this is how I pass this guard, okay? So I want you guys to understand how I set it up the, 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 the pass in an easy way. So I was thread the person, get the feeling how he's positioned, right? So number one dip that I want to show you guys, he was, he wasn't a half a butterfly, he was very good at butterfly hook, half guard with a butterfly, so annoying, right? But I was beating this arm, as you guys can see, I was beating this arm the whole time, right? If you try to lift me that way, he won't be able to sweep me because he needs to post his elbow on the mat. That was the number one key of that match, blocking the bottom arm, okay? This is how I pass. So I knew that this hook was very annoying. I could not pass the same side. I tried to pass a couple times, but it did not work. He was very good. He was doing a very good job with this hook. So what I did was, one of the best tips I can give you guys, never pass to the side that the person is facing. That's going to help the person stay strong because his best reaction is going to be from this side because he wants to sweep it that way. So what I wanted to do is get a feel of the fight and pass the opposite direction. That's what I did, and that paid off. So number one, block this arm. Don't let him get in. If he, even if he sit up into me and hit, he won't be able to go much far because this arm. Okay, keep pushing that way. That's gonna be a number one key. Okay, and then I sweat. I, I change to the shin. Keep this one. I step out and I kept holding this arm like this, and I was kind of square like this. So look, I bait my leg this way. What you want to do? He wants to bring the leg back. So bring the hip back. I throw the leg. Change direction. Okay. So look, that look like this. I was here, nice and tight, and I knew he couldn't get under me. I step out, and I posture up right here. And then from here, I bait with this leg, and then when he bring back, I use momentum, boom, land right here nice and heavy. And it was very heavy to get the point. And then from here, he kept the elbow out the side. That's when I transition to the, uh, to the north-south with the hands in. He put the hands in, I just keep squeezing, okay? So one more time, he coming from here, with a half guard butterfly, I block this hand. I like palm facing that way. From here, I take this leg out. And then from here, he knows that he, I wanted to pass. If I just follow him, it would be easy. So what I did, I step, he break, boom. And then block the hip, lands right here. I kept this arm under because I want to take the back, but he was doing a good job blocking. But that's it. If you ever want to pass someone's guard, never pass the side that he's facing. I always pass that way. One last tip. Every time someone play, play, uh, pull guard, he always pull guard to the strongest side. For example, uh, come up, do a experiment. So I want a match to pull half guard. He always gonna trap one leg in this way. Just pull half guard, just go there. That's the stronger side. That means don't pass to that side. Disconnect, take this guy out, boom. If you're gonna go this way, he's face, you pass to that side. That's gonna be a totally different scenario for you guys, okay? All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys why I did not get the choke faster, right? I'll just take my time. So this is wh what you guys saw in the video. My head position, my body. My body cannot be diagonal, okay? My body has to be on the same line on his body. So for example, I was here, plus his hand was inside blocking, which I had his head, right? As you guys can see, two knees are here. 
okay? My head can never be on outside of his knee facing. My head has to be in between his knees. That's a good target right here. As you guys can see, my body is a diagonal and his body is this way, okay? You guys saw when I uh, uh, was on this position here, connecting hands, I could not finish. But the, ch the thing is here, I want you guys to focus on never push it in and never squeeze right there. So what side ball is not enough? Hand in, so that the guys was. So now, to readjust this, I need to do this. Uh, move myself. If you move the camera, you're gonna see better my angle. So look, I come from here, I have the neck tight, but he can breathe. But when I line up myself, look, wider feet, now I'm looking right between his legs. Now, if I do a tiny squeeze, it's done, okay? So that was a big difference. Coming from here, try and squeeze, instead of being here in a snipe position. And then from there, the choke is there, okay? So don't squeeze the north-south choke if you don't have a proper set, okay? Make sure that you have everything in place, line up your body, wider feet so the person doesn't bump you, okay? So once you get there, you finish, okay? So what took me too long, I was in a cross line, and then after a minute, okay, I have to line up myself. So which, the guy, I was very surprised how long he took. He took me a minute and 13 seconds holding the choke. But also, I was taking my time because it was not, it was tight, but it was not enough. So that's the bit that I learned from Marcelo. Don't squeeze if you don't have a tight. Okay, so learn how to make grip, learn how to position yourself, and then from there, you tie it up. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy the breakdown and stay tuned for the next one. Okay, so thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys enjoy the voiceover. Big O.